Hey what is up guys, this is Fazio GFX here and today I have a Cinema 4D and Photoshop tutorial on 3D text. Now 3D text is done many ways but I just like to do it the nice and easy simple way. So what you do is you can go Mo Graph and you click Mo Text. This is just to get the just plain text, non color, just says text. Now you just zoom into that. Okay. Let's type to no spelled that wrong. Tutorial. There. Now let's pick a good font. I would say my favorite is either Helvetica or Beavis. Hmm, I have way too many fonts. I should start probably start deleting them. But I can't find the time to do that. So here we go. Uh, let's see, Havetica. I think we went past it. No. Here we go. Let's just find the normal Helvetica. Here we go. So that's Helvetica font. Let's increase the depth to about 200. Yep. And uh, let's just zoom in a bit. So now let's add some caps around the text, which give it that kind of new cool effect. Feel like cap, cap, feel like cap. Now turn down the radius to three on both ones. Okay, there. And turn the steps up to five. Let's do that. Okay, so there. Now we got our base. Now before I color it and all that, I want to put it inside a light studio. Now, Light Studios are, are are downloadable. You can download them from a lot of places, but I like using the Moon of not the Moon Effects. I like using the Melon Arts, the Cinema 4D Light Studio. Yeah, my Light Studio, Melon Art Studio. So as you see, it's quite cool text. Let me just delete this folder, replace it with mine. Bring it down into the middle. As you see, it's quite large. Now, to adjust the size, you go back to your object and where it says height. Just scroll down so you see that better. Just put that down and then you can make it fit. I think that's enough. Put it inside that light right there. There we go. Half in, half out. There. So let, let us continue. Now I have already preset um, colors here. I'm not gonna get into too much about making them because if you want to get a really good one, it takes a while. So what I recommend is just download one from the internet, then just do copy paste into here, so you don't have to continue making them. So let's put that in. Okay. Let us check the settings. Let me just take these off. Okay. Now the output, you want to change this to 1280 by 720. You can choose whatever you want, but I recommend 1280 by 720. Alpha channel, change the save spot, save it as tutorial. Multipass, that's nothing, don't worry about it. Anti-analyzing, now if your computer is really good, uh, you change this max level to 4x4. And you keep that first one by one. And this should be on uh, geometry at start, but you change it to best. Uh, they're not that necessary. Now, this is just the options for shading and all that stuff, blurriness. You can take that off, but I like it. So now we add ambient occlusion. It is found in effect near the top. It's easy to find, but I've already got it in, so I just click tick. You don't really need to edit anything here, so you just continue. Global illumination, same thing you found in effect. You just tick it. Now I'm gonna add an extra two effects: depth of field and color correction. Now this just makes it look nicer, give it more effects. So let's see what we've got so far. Take a look. Well, I think that's quite good. Not that bad. Yeah, I agree. With, I agree with that it's quite cool. So let me just render this out and take it into Photoshop. So let's render. 
Right, guys, if you don't have a computer that has that good of RAM, I would not recommend using uh, these spec these uh, effects that I'm using. I would recommend just use ambient inclusion. Global initiation is important, but it's not necessary. It's not that much needed. It just makes it more realistic. Hey, welcome back, guys. This is a Photoshop stage. Now, this bit is much, much easier, so you don't need to worry about it. All it is just adding effects inside the layer style. Now, one thing I did forget to mo mention inside the Cinema 4D part is that before render, you want to make sure that in your save, the format is PNG and it has alpha channel on. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, Just make sure those two are ticked and make sure PNG is on. Okay, back to the Photoshop. Now the Photoshop stage is much easier so all it is is just going into the layer style, add a gradient overlay, change it back to normal. It gives you kind of this effect. Now to get rid of that all you have to do is change the blending mode to overlay and as you see it's cool but it's too rough. So to just turn down the opacity to around, I would say, 50 or 60. I prefer 60. So now we got this nicer effect, kind of gloss. Now we add a drop shadow. I like to just put the distance on either 1 or 0. Change the angle to 90. Take off, use global light. Change it back to 90. Now I'll just turn this up. There we go. Now we got this nicer, cooler text. But now let's just add a little bit of color correction just to give it, make it more nicer. Now what you do is you go to this half black, half white circle. This is all the color correction. What I like to use first is called curves. You just find the curves one. It's near the top, right under levels. And you just make like a little squiggly line. Make sure it's both it's even on both sides, like evenly going down, evenly going up. Then you just turn down the opacity. Also another effect I like to use is called gradient map. It's a second from the bottom inside the half circle. And I like to use the preset one, purple and orange. Put that on, change the blending mode to soft light, and you have this. Turn it down to 30. Well guys, I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate and subscribe.